Today, I'm making meatloaf. One turkey, one beef. Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah! yeah. This is Dash, and today, just like I said, I'm going to be making a couple different types of meatloaf. So I went to the store earlier today, and I found some turkey. This is a 99% uh, fat-free turkey breast, ground turkey breast. It was on sale, <laughs> so I picked up some. I told you guys before, my wife is uh, kind of funny when it comes to eating ground beef. So in order for me to make a meatloaf or something like that, I need to make it out of turkey for her. Then I found these. Uh, Grass-fed beef burgers, they're 85% lean, 15% fat. What I'm going to do is take and grind, you know, mix them together, season them up, and make a meatloaf out of those as well for myself. Now, I don't really do meatloafs. I'm not a fan of meatloaf. But the one time that I did meatloaf recently and I smoked it, it turned out pretty well. So I'm hoping that I can do something similar today with these and I figure I haven't used these in a while I'm going to be using some more of the Cosmos Q rubs the honey killer bee is gonna go on the turkey the honey chipotle killer bee is gonna go on the beef because yeah <clears throat> yeah just because I am um, I don't know I just picked two anyway uh, first step is to get this seasoned up and put together. All right, so I have a confession to make. I cooked something and I didn't show you guys. I know, right? So what I'm gonna do is actually put a temperature probe right down in the middle of the grill so I know exactly what, or I knew exactly what the temperature is uh, while I was cooking what I was cooking. Our perfect turkey meatloaf. And we have our perfectly formed beef meatloaf. Now, I don't know how long these are going to take. I'm going to get a probe into this one. This is a smaller one of the two. And I, it will go from there.
Okay, so you guys saw me get the beef meatloaf and the turkey meatloaf off of the big green egg. I think they turned out pretty well. I cooked them both to about 150 degrees. Uh, actually, the, the turkey meatloaf went to 155. I know I probably should have taken a little further, but I don't want it to dry out, so we're gonna just have it a little under. The beef, I went to 150, and I took a little piece, a cheater piece, and it's fine. I don't know why, but sometimes you guys ask what we have on the side tonight. I just made a little, or my wife made a little, like, bag salad. So, that's that. Quick and easy. I'm gonna take a bite of either of these to, to try them real fast. And we'll see how they turn out. Well, I can already tell you, I tried the beef earlier, and uh, I, I'm a fan. I like it. Uh, as you saw, when I was making a little glaze, I was going to do ketchup, honey, and the crystal hot sauce because I didn't have any sriracha, but the, the, my wife didn't want the crystal because it's more, it add more salt to the whole deal, so she asked me to just do uh, red pepper flakes, so that was the change in plan. Hmm. I might actually make this again. Turned out really well. There is, is actually a little bit of a smoke line. I know I'm kind of far away from the camera so you can't see it. But there is a smoke ring. Now I did not put any wood chips or anything like that. Or chunks into the big green egg. I just used the, that um, that lump charcoal, that western lump charcoal. And it's good. And now for the turkey. Break it off. Should have just grabbed a knife. All right, finally. Hmm. Full disclosure, I'm not in the big of a meatloaf fan, but this is actually pretty good. The seasoning is decent, and I really like the little bit of glaze, so I'm gonna steal a little bit. Hmm. All right, well. Cooking a meatloaf two different ways on a big green egg. Uh, if you like what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Thank you very much, as always, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Is there really two different ways? Bye! Two different types, I don't know.